so this is from Megan Rowling. I would like to ask the panelists whether they think the UK government's move to merge DFID with the Foreign Office with FCO could have an impact on Britain's climate adaptation and resilience work in developing countries, and if so, how? So uh, I think it's a bad move, that's for sure. You know, the, the fact that DFID was an independent department with a Secretary of State uh, with a cabinet rank made a huge difference for the UK's aid budget to be ring-fenced to tackle global poverty and humanitarian uh, issues, which Mr. Johnson obviously does not like, and he wants it to be subordinated to political interests. And, you know, he, he, in his speech in Parliament, he calls it the great cash point in the, in the sky, which is, you know, extremely derogatory uh, view of, of de development assistance and why Ukraine shouldn't get more than Zambia. If he doesn't know the difference between poverty in Zambia and Ukraine, you know, I have no faith in him being uh, the person in charge of what to do best with money that's supposed to help the poor. On the other hand, in the climate change context, I am not really that disappointed. You know, I would prefer the UK to give their climate obligations, climate finance obligations to the world that they have agreed to under the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. And I really don't care if they're aid, they want to reduce aid to zero. Let them do that, that's their business. Shut it down, what does it matter to us? but give the money that you have to give us under climate change. That is, a, that is an obligation that we will hold you to. Aid is not an obligation. Aid is just charity that you decided you want to give. And you don't want to give it, don't give it. But climate finance, you have to give, and we will fight you for that. 